What's that? This is Mama. What you doing, Mama? Having fun? Just chilling there. You're gonna, are, you, are you gonna attack me or what? <laughs> he walked all the way over there. She's just giving me the look. I'm not gonna bother you. Don't worry. Or I might just be bothering you with my presence, but. Where's your oldest kid? The one who actually likes being pet. <laughs> So I'm at this cafe in Harajuku. This guy was in prison for a while. Yeah. Just because he was uh, in from America. In America, yeah. Basically, they put you in a hotel room. Hotel for two weeks. Yeah. And they gave you the nose test. What did that feel like? It burns. It I cried. burns. I cried. Yeah, oh. they put put a Q-tip in and basically spin it for ten seconds. Oh my God. Yeah. Ow. About that long. Jesus <laughs> Christ. But you're. Test came back. I'm I am I am COVID free. He's COVID free. Two weeks two weeks later they 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 checked on us, they called us. Well like if you were if you came back negative, why would they force you to stay in the hotel? Because the 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 period of, of the virus takes two weeks to to come out. Yeah, but that test should indicate if you're pre-symptomatic as well, right? Basically. So yeah, I know I'm not asymptomatic, but I, technically, I guess I still could have caught it on right. the plane, and then it would have uh, I would have started coughing and had a fever. That makes sense. Two weeks, yeah. Don't know why they, didn't, they don't test people before flying. I don't know. Yeah. That would have made more, more sense, I guess. But his story is the reason why I'm not able to go back to America right now, because if I go back, I'd be completely... Well, I'd be screwed because I'm not a permanent resident, and also... You'd I mean, be, you'd be quarantining there, and then, and then yeah. you wouldn't be able to come back. You left before the emergency declaration as well, so you were able to come back easily. But I, yeah. I I'm stuck here. <laughs> but still, even, even when I came back, yeah, immigration interviewed that, me for 30 minutes. Man, that has on the me, house asking me house. why do I, why am I coming back to Japan? What do I do in Japan? I showed them my business card that told them you know where I work. Yeah, and told them my kids are here, and they still almost didn't let me in. Wow. Even with permanent residency. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's what it's like, I guess, right? That's Japan. Yeah, unfortunately. Enjoying that beer, though. Yeah. Freedom beer. Freedom beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a Guinness. I'm drinking tea because I don't want to drink alcohol right now, but yeah. There you go, man. Enjoy that beer. I will. What is with the Volvos? We got two Volvos here. One Volvo, two Volvo. Like, Volvo. Volvo! God damn it. <laughs> hey, welcome to this week's episode of the vlog. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my shit posting career, ain't it? <laughs> you know, a while ago, I gave too much of a shit about how many subscribers and likes and stuff I got. You know, one thing I figured out what you know how to do about my YouTube channel is just not giving a shit. You know, it makes it, it makes it a lot more fun. I actually enjoy editing and uploading these things every Wednesday because it's like, oh, I'm just gonna make something, you know? And that's what YouTube was. Like, I've been on YouTube. I've been doing stuff on YouTube since this platform's existence back in 06. I know, right? I'm an OG. I really am. It doesn't seem like it, but I am. <laughs> and, but, you know, the reason I've been hopping back and forth between different channels and I finally settled on this one back in 2012. So, a lot of the people I've, I was surrounding myself back in, you know, 2016, 2017 and stuff, they gave way too much of a shit as to how many likes, how many views, how many subscribers y'all got. And they're like, Zach, you've only got a thousand, two thousand subscribers, you're only getting a hundred views. Look, here's the thing, you know, these people burnt themselves out, they got pissed off with doing YouTube, they got, you know, brain drain or whatever it's called, like when they have no but writer's block, basically, you know, and the quality of their content tanks like the freaking dolphins. So, you know, I've been doing the same shit on YouTube for the last couple of years. I mean, I do want to do more stuff. I want, I want to make myself more creative. I want to make more cool stuff for YouTube. But at the same time, I just love doing these things, you know, everyone's looking at me. I'm, I can't even hear anybody, right? I'm just walking around talking to my camera, everyone's looking at me, but I don't give a shit, you know, it's just, I'm making the shit I want to make for my YouTube channel, and I don't care how many people watch it, you know, I don't care how many subs I have anymore. What matters to me is I'm making stuff that I'm happy about, you know, I put in the effort, I make, you know, I, I do, I do edit these things, you know, to an extent, of course, 
<laughs> I'm not going through meticulously editing everything like oh I have to make sure this is color corrected to this point I don't even know where I'm walking to I wanted to get a smoothie so smoothie places that way yeah it smells good up here what the hell is that smell city shop okay I'm following my nose here what do I got in here noodles I got noodles I should eat lunch here sometime yeah I'm gonna come by here for lunch maybe tomorrow I don't know anyway yeah, that's what that smell was. Anyway, so if you guys are watching my channel and you're like, Zach, what are you doing? I'm having fun. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I go back every so often. I watch my older videos. I'm like, wow, I did that. And that was fun. You know, that, that's why I make these things. You know, it's not, I'm not making it at this point, I should say. I'm not making my YouTube channel for the sake of getting views and getting YouTube famous and stuff like that. I'm doing this for the original reason why YouTube came out. And that's just to have fun with it, you know? To broadcast myself <laughs> who gives a shit how many people watch my stuff you know I don't really care I mean I, I mean I do like getting money from YouTube you know I like getting the I like having my videos monetized cuz I mean I bought my my current camera that I <laughs> I don't even use it for my own channel anymore but I bought it with my you know YouTube money basically so but you know to that regard I feel like I, I don't even know where I'm going with this sentence I've been recording for three minutes basically a lot of things I take pride in on my channel is the fact that, you know, you see me in my YouTube videos and you meet me in person and you're like, Oh, you're the same mother <laughs> in that video. Except you don't censor yourself with quacking sounds. F***ing hell, that's so much f***ing quacking sounds I have to f***ing edit to this f***ing video. Anyway, getting sidetracked here. You know, you, you guys are subbed to my channel because you know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna change my content. I mean, I want to do more shit, obviously. I want to make more fun shit. And more unique type of videos, but I'm doing it for me. I'm not doing it for you guys <laughs> But you know the fact that you guys are watching it because it's me that that's what I really appreciate So hell yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and here and get a smoothie after recording for almost four and a half minutes Look at his cat, and it goes inside of this store. And it's just like this cat don't want to walk. He's just like, what the hell? Oh my god, what a legend! <laughs> what? <laughs> I spent the better part of five minutes laughing at this ridiculous cat. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh god, I freaking love Harajuku, man. <laughs> This thing is pretty cool. Oh, well, they just bowed at me. Are they gonna hit those bells or what? Are they just, okay, actually they are. They're not actually hitting the bells. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Each year they release a new tea called Sheen Cha, which means new tea, and I got the one for Rewa 1 last year. I, have, I, I kept the bottle and it's in my apartment. And because 2020 is the best year on the planet for pretty much everybody, right? I decided to uh, keep a bottle, but I forgot to actually pick up one before they stopped selling it, but luckily the store nearest my apartment, we still sold bottles, so they've been selling this since the beginning of the month. Fix this here, there we go. Mm. The new tea of 2020. Tastes really fresh. So here's to a better second half of the year, right? <laughs> I gotta keep this bottle. Mm. I'm gonna put it in my bin of other 2020 failures, like the Abe mask. <laughs> We're working on the studio today. We're, this is actually a pretty simplistic setup, but that's actually the point of this because what this is, is like an interview type thing. So the uh, person that we're going to film, this is a part of our product here. Our product that we're working on. Yes, yes indeed. So it's going to be awesome, but very simple. So yep. basically we're just looking at a very short video that can highlight people's communication skills. Yep. And also just create creating digital content. Yeah. You know, everybody wants to do it. So I think yep. if we can help people just get started. Yeah. And then, you know, the next one will be yeah. easier. 
Well, I mean, that's the whole purpose of this. This is, this is just very simple and easy for us to set up with these two uh, panels and then the 4K camera. Yes, indeed. But I think for this, I mean, we don't need, like, the, the, the client wouldn't need an actual, like, 4K setting, so we can compress it pretty easily to 1080. Right. And uh, so right now we're just taking some pictures and getting some stuff set up for the, uh, you know, the uh, Aoyama Studio social media stuff, which I will be working on shortly. Indeed, indeed. I'm just I waiting am learning there. a lot about how to use yeah. cameras and lighting. So this I is gave him a crash course on that camera. Great learning experience. So yeah. if you want to also learn from a master, <laughs> um, a budding master, um, yep. this is also a great experience just to come out and uh, thank you, Zach, for yeah, you know, well, absolutely. explaining things as we get it done. Yep. So you're a teacher. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yep. So cool. this is what we have set up today. You need to be pretty good day at work. Yep. And check us out. These panel lights are hurting my eyes, though. <laughs> I know. You're not supposed to look at them. You're supposed to look straight at the camera, basically, I when you do this. So that's right. how that works. Excellent. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Hey, come on out. Check us out. We out here! Hey! So there's Mina. I, got, I have to get the, uh, the bikini girl for my thumbnail. And there's the beach. You guys want to be on my YouTube video? So there's Kay. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Joss. Joss. Right, Joss. I met her just once and I'm, I'm so. I feel every, every time I forget someone's name, I always feel bad. Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Um, this is what I found at the Ikea the other day, like the one in Harajuku. This is like, my hat's really, look at my hat, oh my god. Anyway, yeah. This is like beer, but not beer. Basically, this thing is 0.3% alcohol. I don't know if you can see that at the bottom here. 0.3%, right? So today on my YouTube video, as I watch a hawk about to terrorize a family, this guy right here. Oh, there he goes. He about to terrorize us, ain't he? Oh god, all three of them. Hold on, let me flip, let me flip the sides here. These dickheads right here, man, they're gonna... There's like, oh my god, there's a bunch of them now. Holy shit. Wow. I, I opened it up. Wow, I smell it. So it's IPA, it's like reference pale ale. Or something, uh, I really don't know, but anyway. Let's give it a shot. Oh wow, mmm. Mmm, okay, that's interesting. It tastes like a really fruity IPA, but without the alcohol. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right, Kay's gonna try it. Okay. All right, here we go. Mm, smells interesting. The Welsh opinion. How is it? That's really not bad. Not bad. I would so drink that. Yeah. I can't actually believe it. It's just 0.3%. Real ale, dry hop with citra hops. Yeah, yeah. That's amazing. So the citra hops is what makes it have that citrus so flavor. Yeah. This is way better than our zero percent. Like, uh, I've got. Well, this was like six hundred. I mean, yeah. I've got like Asahi dry zero. Yeah, yeah. And it's kind of tasteless. Right. And then Joss has the Kirin zero. It's better than us, but yeah. Yeah. And then this is even better again. I'm gonna have to go to IKEA and get some. Yep. Yeah, it's. it's a I, I got it at the <laughs> IKEA right in front of Harajuku Station. The new, okay, the, new, the new one, yeah. yeah the little new yeah. one, yeah. Okay, cool. I think it's all right. Yeah, there's a new yeah. one opened at Harajuku, so. So, cool. alright, cheers! Alright, did you have fun? Yeah! Remember yeah. the times at the beach? Remember the. <laughs> <laughs> That guy was, I met him at the Hanami back in June, early June. I drink in the park. Yes, me too, actually. And then these guys had fun. Yeah. Hey, here's the, here's the thumbnail, maybe. Hot girls in the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, we need chicas in the thumbnail. All right. Hot boys in the thumbnail. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, she's about to get undressed, yeah. so, um, I will now focus the camera on her. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, and then, like, the slow, funky music starts playing. Like, ban it. Wow, wow. Ban it. Ban it. Oh, she's putting on clothes. Never mind. <laughs> I think, so I think these, guys, these guys got drunk. I I've never been drunk in my life. Oh, she's drunk. We're listening right. to metal. I'm in Chibi's Coke Energy because I'm not drinking alcohol today. I'm confused though. 
There's a shitload of gyaru right over here. I don't know what's going on. So. Okay. <laughs> I left home and it was raining like hell, but actually now it looks nice, as you can see. Um, well, I mean, not nice. It's not raining. That's why it's nice. But look at these clouds. These are weird. It's dark in this stuff. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Wow. So this place, Miesta Park, is pretty close to reopening. Another development over here in Chibis. And um, let's take a look at what they've got here. A number of stores, a little hotel, a couple of fashion shops, G-Shock. And then over here, let's look at the food. Wait a second, wait a second, Taco Bell and Panda Express? Man, this place about to get me fat. <laughs> Look at a Taco Bell over here at this place, huh? And of course they've got egg sluts and traditional washoku, I guess. But yeah, how about that shit? They said it was supposed to rain all day, but sun's out, guns out. <laughs> I need to work on these. I can do that though. Yeah. <laughs> Look at me walking down freaking Takeshita, man. As my dad likes to call it, take a shit street. You know, just how it goes here. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous to go to the nightclubs, even though they're all open and some of them are and I think some pretty good policies to prevent the spread of corona. So instead of going to a nightclub though, I'm going out here. There's the little effects, if you remember him. Street club, we're all just chilling out here. It's really hard to get the virus when you're outside. Actually, everyone seems to be pretty spaced out too. How about that? I needed this today. <laughs> I got a freaking frisbee. Okay, you guys can't see it. Basically, I did horrible. <laughs> well, this thing opened. Ryzen patio cafe thing, huh? I mean, it looks nice, but the food selection here is really, really small, so I don't anticipate hanging out here that much. <laughs> if you don't know, Ryzen is like a brand of fitness and energy drinks and stuff. I don't know. It, it always feels weird whenever I see their ads. That's where you buy the energy drinks in there, I guess. I never tried it before, so. I came across this thing here. It's a campaign van, actually. I don't know what he's campaigning for or what he's trying to do, but... I don't know what's going on here, but okay then. <laughs> like I'm holding an offering to God. Etnies. Etnies. I w my, my, my goal is to become famous enough that I could just make my own line of etnies. I want this E to be like freaking bright red. And like this runner to be red as well. That'd be really cool. And my, my camera's all foggy. I don't care! It's para etnies, guys! Or it's one etnie. My other etnie's on the floor. I know I actually celebrated my fresh pair of etnies last week, but after that clip, um, it started raining, and I didn't want to get these things wet, so I actually put them on today. And every time it rains, or not rains, but every time I put a fresh pair of etnies on my feet, I do what's called the etnies walk, which is like, see him just like doing this. <laughs> I'm extra cautious not to scrape the bottom of these things, or to, uh, you know, scrape the back of them. Cause you know, I gotta break in the shoe, right? I gotta make sure it actually fits properly. And I haven't worn this Arizona State hat in ages. I haven't been to Arizona in five years. 
Right now they're getting completely uh, smoked out from the coronavirus. Oh boy, I won't be able to fly back at all, will I, this year? <laughs> oh no. Shit, I wasn't even gonna wear these when it rained, but like, holy shit. It is goddamn raining. Y'all hear that? This rain on some bullshit. Sweet Jesus, man, this shit is nuts. This is like really heavy rain. Look at the temple. Damn. Well, I was about to leave and I was gonna go home and do some editing, but like, don't think I can do that now, can I? <laughs> Happy July, everybody. It's raining though. Damn it. That's okay, it's only Wednesday. And I just realized how much footage I have for this week's vlog. My train's here. This week's vlog is long as titty. Sorry about that. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. You knew what you were getting when you subscribed to my channel. <laughs> so I'm at the studio and it's raining again today. Not really the studio. The studio is actually over there. The office is actually over there. We're just being constructed. We're in the office. We're in the office. We're in the office. That's the studio. That's the studio, yeah. But because I am not much of a morning person and my sleep schedule's been screwed up and it's raining, <laughs> I have another energy drink that I'm going to review. And I don't really like energy drinks that much, but this one says Shonan Gold and it shows, you know, a Shogun riding a wave. <laughs> how, do you, how do you know he's a Shogun? <laughs> Oh, okay, all right. Okay. I think he's... Oh, I think he's... I'm not sure what he's doing, but... Yeah, anyway, here we go. We got a couple productions going on. Yeah, we do. Mm. How is it? Not bad. It tastes like the color gold. It, ta it tastes like the color gold. Okay. Yeah, basically. All right. Want to try it? Um, no, but I, I wanna, I'm gonna get a, get my own at some point and see what you mean by it. Yeah, I got it at the Konbini. taste like? <laughs> I got it at the Konbini in, um, well, in Shonan, so. <laughs> oh, really? Mm. You gotta go to Shonan to get the Shonan Gold? Yep. I mean, they might have it at Don Quixote, but, I mean, when I was down there, um, the Family Mart there had, like, a bunch of different, like, Shonan beer, Shonan drinks, and whatnot, so. Mm -hmm. Today was a good day. Look at this beautiful sky. I'm gonna go home, edit this vlog, and uh, hopefully not die. Alright, see y'all later.